Welcome in today's video I'm going to talk about getting free high quality materials for MegaScan for a twin motion project. My name is Katarina, I'm a garden designer and I see you next. So welcome to another video from Garden Design Tools. In this video I'm going to talk about how to get MegaScan free high quality textures for your twin motion project. So let, my last video was about getting the 3D plants. So it's basically the same thing. What you need to do is go to the Megascan um, uh, website and log in with your Epic Launcher account. Okay, the same account that you, you used to log in in your Epic Launcher. Okay, when you got to download twin motion. Uh, so that's what we're gonna do next. I'm gonna show you how uh, it works in Megascan. So this is the Megascan website. I'm logged in with my Epic uh, Launcher account. So basically this is normally a subscription uh, um, uh, payment method, okay? So that you have access to 3D assets, um, to textures, to 3D plants. Uh, right now I'm just gonna show you the, the surfaces and they have an amazing thing that is collections, okay? Um, and you get a, a kind of uh, mood ambient and they, they 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 curate these collections for you of materials so if you have if you're doing something very specific okay uh, i really love all the stone and the and the wood materials it's really really great textures so i'm just going to quickly show you uh, i love this mossy mossy kind of uh, stone wall um and uh, as you can see it shows here purchase that's because i've downloaded previously in the download settings, I normally download on in 4K, you can download in 8K as well, but I don't think there is a need for that, especially in my case. Uh, but here you download all the maps that you're going to need, okay? So this is the albedo map is like the normal uh, texture image, the main texture image, okay? And after is all the bump um, uh, and you have glossiness, etc. okay? Um, so yeah, this is what you got. You can uh, select or unselect and it normally records, okay? So for your next texture, uh, it's recorded after you download it. So it goes as a zip folder, as a zip file to your uh, transfer folder in your desktop. Um, and you extract the files, okay? I'll suggest to uh, create a texture library so you have all this organized with the names. Um, so I'm just gonna quickly show you what files so this is what we've got, um, and yeah, this is the normal albedo map, just gonna show you, okay, as you can see, very flat in here, but it's a high quality texture, and this is a sample of what it can look like, okay, so this is with a lot of sharpness, um, normally what I find that I never can really create this image inside Twin Motion with, with with some post-production, especially in terms of structure and sharpness, getting that sharpness of the image, you can um, you can get this kind of um, this kind of texture. Okay, um, but yeah, in Twin Motion, I uh, I I can't I can't get this like all this sharpness in, inside Twin Motion. It needs to be in the post-production. Okay, but that's my experience. Maybe if you guys have other experience and you can actually get all that sharpness inside Twin Motion, let me know. So yeah, let's go and just quickly go and check it out. So I've added that texture previously. Okay, now you, you're not um, able to see so well. Um, let me just go with a bit of more lighting. I had some clouds because there was too brightness in the pavement. Okay, but that's it. And in, the, in the color is where you add and you have opacity mask on or off. Um, in the texture is where you add, you're gonna go and open that albedo map that you've downloaded and extracted. You can play around with the luminosity of the material, okay? This is pretty cool to play around. Normally, the real, real, Twin Motion is pretty good in that, but you get a more accurate um, um, image if you actually uh, um, render the image, okay? Uh, so I will, I will, cons I will, um, I would suggest you consider uh, rendering an image in a high quality image just to make sure that you that you have uh, that uh, the material is like you want okay so this is the noise in the in the in the in the material 
uh, you have some reflection settings so this is not a very high reflective surface uh, texture okay but here you have the you can add some glossiness map as well um, you can play with the scale of course um, just be careful it doesn't look like completely out of um, out of um, bounds you know like unrealistic okay and this is speed because in twin motion you have this pretty i'm just going to stop but you have this pretty cool thing that you can actually add materials uh, moving okay so that's a thing it's a weird thing uh, maybe someone can find the use for that um in the outdoors i'm not sure um oh i just found out one if you're playing with the domes, you know, I did a, a previous video with the domes with sky, uh, that you can add a sky, a high um, HDR sky to the dome. And you, if you put it to a, a very low speed, you can actually get the clouds moving. So that's a pretty cool thing to try with the speed. I just remember that. Um, weather on, of course, and now in the settings you have the bump map. So, of course, in here, again, in the more, you're going to add your bump map from that folder you extracted, okay? So, just be careful playing with this. Don't make it too much. It will disform the, 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 the material, okay? Um, glow, if it, it emits any light, if you have a map for that, you can add here. And uh, metalness, if it's a metal, you will add a map here as well. Okay, so this is the settings you've got. It's pretty cool. Uh, the thing is, you can add all the textures you want inside Twin Motion, and how after, if you're happy with the settings, you can just add here to your user library. Okay, so these three little points on top of the texture, just add them to your user library. So in the next model, in the next project, it's fairly easy just to get the material, okay, and just get it to your um to your project okay so that's pretty cool thing that uh, um, you just have to do that once okay um yeah i just wanted to check a little bit more here i really liked lumion uh, lumion sorry twin motion uh, textures uh, this is a wooden plank already from here um and uh, it looks good just the scale is a bit but sometimes to get that really sharpen uh, image like you see in the Unreal Engine, okay, you really need to get um, in a post-production program, okay. I'm just going to go in here and see something that I want to, to try it on. Uh, I'll just uh, quickly go to the preference and just put the uh, quality appearance, sorry, here, to Ultra. Okay, just to make sure you have a better understanding of the texture okay so that's pretty cool um, and we're gonna uh, continue to export twin motion in the next one we're gonna go through a little bit of the 3d assets they have um, there is some tips and tricks we're gonna go through as well especially when it comes to moving okay so i don't have my keyboard i'm just gonna quickly go and check my keyboard is out of the but uh, i'm gonna go to some uh, to some um, some um, some uh, tricks in the keyboard in terms of moving and camera movement as well as well as getting through the the to the high level that's something that was bothering me but i just found out how to do it so this is some of the videos we're going to go through in the future very soon for twin motion users okay see you guys in the next one